Hello everyone, happy Saturday. So today I will be making a video to automate the extraction of HTML table from a website to CSV or Excel. Previously I have made a video uh, for this, but this is a 2022 version update. Hello everyone, my name is Hao Zhong. I'm here to help you to use Office Work tools such as Excel and Power Automate. If you think my videos are helpful, please help me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you. In this demo, I will use a Wikipedia website. So I am going to extract this table, right, this table into uh, an Excel spreadsheet and into a CSV file. So this is the Excel extract. And this is the CSV extract. So the first step to do this is you launch new Chrome. Launch mode, launch new instance. Initial URL is this URL. Uh, window state, normal. The rest, I leave it as uh, default. Then I use extract data from web page. So web browser instance is browser. Then what you do is you open up the uh, Wikipedia table. And then you wait for a while. There's a live web helper that will be displayed. So what you do is you go to your table, right? Then uh, preferably go to the uh, first uh, column and first row, which displays the header. Right click. Then you have a list of selection. So click on extract entire HTML table. All right now you have a preview then you click on finish then you enable process data upon extraction this is very important um, it will make your data more readable the rest i leave it as default variables produced is data from web page Then you can start writing to the CSV file. So use write to CSV file. Variable to write is data from web page. Then the file path is your CSV file. And in the advanced, remember to enable include column names. If you want the column names. If file exists, override existing content. The rest, I leave it as default. The, if uh, you just want to extract to CSV, you can uh, stop watching the video now. I will now continue to uh, explain how you extract the table into Excel. First, you launch Excel. Launch Excel with a blank document. Then the rest, I leave it as default. Then you use write to Excel worksheet. So first you have to write the column headers row because uh, if you straight away extract the uh, data from web page, it wouldn't extract the column header. So you, you write the column header first. So write to Excel worksheet, Excel instance is Excel instance. So value to write is data from web page dot column headers row. So you can uh, actually get into here by clicking the X and then you go to data from web page. Then you double click on column header row. Or you click on select. Right mode is on currently active cell. 
then you get first free row on column from Excel worksheet so that you can paste the rest of the table into Excel. Excel instance is Excel instance, column is column 1, variables produce is first free row on column. Then you activate cell in Excel worksheet, Excel instance is Excel instance, activate absolutely specified cell, column 1, row is the first free row on column. Then you write to Excel worksheet. Excel instance is Excel instance, value to write, data from web page, write mode on currently active cell. Then you can resize the column rows in Excel worksheet. Excel instance, Excel instance, resize target is column, selection range is all available, resize tab is auto fit. Then you can save Excel. Excel instance, Excel instance, save mode, save document as default, and then put in the location of your file. So I will now run the uh, flow to demonstrate how this uh, workflow will work. So let me close the Excel file and the CSV file first. Yeah, click on play. Yep, I think it's all done. Uh, all the uh, table uh, information is now in your Excel file. I hope this video has helped you. Please remember to give the video a like and remember to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much everyone. Bye bye.